25th of August 2019, Sergey Baklikov. I keep my video vlog going. Already the third morning in the city of Mamonsk, the largest city beyond the Arctic Circle in the world. But uh, right now I will go even deeper as I promised. Yes, uh, 130 kilometers uh, deeper, more distance up north from Mamonsk to a little village which is literally located at one of the edges of Russia. The village which is called Tiriberka. I will go now there at one of these buses and uh, the road will take uh, up to like three hours. If you will go to Chiriburka by car yourself, keep in mind there is no any gas stations on the way from Marmons to the village. So you have to make sure to get enough of petrol in the city, which will be enough for 260 kilometers, which is the round trip distance. There is no regular buses to Chiriburka from Marmons, so you have to go there or by yourself or get a taxi or find out if you can join any tour bus. We just got out of the city. Here is yes, pretty nice rose. Look at the forest. With every new kilometer, it will getting lower and lower until we get to tundra. Most of the way, for about 80 kilometers, the road is good. Then the last 35 kilometers goes through the uh, ground roads, but that one is not as bad as it could be. At least uh, much better than if it would be an old asphalt road with lots of potholes. The weather is changing pretty fast in such a regions. We are making a little stop for 10 minutes. Tiriberka, 40 kilometers yet. Starting from about the 78th kilometer of the route here is many places you may stop to enjoy the nature of tundra, which is uh, very minimalistic, but together with uh, some of uh, 107,000 thousand of lakes has its own beauty. Tiriburka is uh, from one side located on the coast of uh, the same name Tiriburka River, from another side on the coast of Barents Sea. This place is at least 400 years older than Mormonsk and used to be the main place of uh, nowadays Mormonsk regions. The first mansion found in 16th century as about the uh, seasonal camp for Russian fishermen. But only in 1869 here began the uh, mass relocation of uh, Russian colonists. People who lived on Marmon coast used to get some privileges from the government. The first inhabitants of the village uh, were engaged in animal uh, husbandry, fishing, and whaling. <coughs> We are now going to the very deep points of the village. Here we are. What a huge stones. The shore of Barents Sea. And this is the real edge of Russia. The end of Russia, I would say. Because, let's say, in differ from Sochi, from uh, Black Sea, you go forwards and you will meet Tokyo here there you will meet nothing just a North Pole so that's why this is the real edge of Russia up in the north Our bus was not able to get right here, but just a normal size cars somehow can get through. Also, you can move even deeper.
behind the mountains there's the waterfall In 1920s, uh, here already lived over 1,500 residents and uh, was founded the first collective farm with dairy and uh, reindeer husbandry. Cheriburka became the center of the region, was uh, provided an electrification radio, constructed a school, club, movie theater and hospital, shipbuilding and uh, ship repair stations. To the beginning of the Second World War, the population of Tiriburka grown up to already over 5,000 residents. In the years of war, fishing were uh, never stopped here, and a village provided a lot of fish for the Soviet army every day. The active development of uh, Tiriburka went up to 1960s, until the cities of Murmansk and uh, Severomorsk got as big as uh, the center of the region moved there. Nowadays, this is just a quiet, faraway village in a beautiful coast of Boren Sea on the northern edge of Russia. For you to know, let me tell you that mobile connection and mobile internet works perfect here. Uh, you see uh, those towers, there's located the transmitters of two leading uh, mobile companies in Russia, MTS and Megafon. I have Megafon and the connection is just uh, perfect, like five stars on the phone. The population now reduced to 900 residents. From time to time the authorities making a uh, big plans on Tiriburka, like constructing the seaport here, but uh, for now it's all just in plans. In the same time, Tiriburka village for the last five years is uh, definitely getting developed as a tourist destination. For those who don't like uh, traditional leisure, already opened several hotels and cafe. Since 2015, uh, Tiriburka is the place for summer festival called Tiriburka The New Life, featuring musicians, folk collectives, uh, sportsmen, uh, restorators and uh, designers. I see some people are traveling with RV and quadricycle. Besides just the beauty of the nature, another cinematic thing here in Tiriburka is a ship graveyard, which has happened here naturally in time after the seaports moved from here to Momonsk. Then after that, uh, the ships just started dying. In European parts of Russia, Tiriburka is the only place where you can come by car to see the open Barents Sea and the Arctic Ocean. And uh, thankful to a good wind here, it is also gets popular for kite surfing, uh, including winter kite surfing. What about how the locals are feeling here? Mostly they are feeling just okay, because having all the time quality and fresh fish here, garden and just being united and integrated into the beautiful nature of bar and sea, they are getting in such a way of life when uh, jobs and money already don't have as much of meaning as uh, in the big cities or even small towns. Even though officially the unemployment here is 170 people, I've been personally told by the business that they are having a problem to find the employees around the locals who for many years of some kind of isolation got used to live just on their own. Everything is good. The only bad thing that I came here together with the group and uh, for this reason I'm limited in time, I haven't filmed everything what I wanted, but in the same time this is a great reason to get back here again. Hope you enjoyed this video, traditionally comments, like, subscribe, see you!